Hokey dokey. In this problem, we will use the same exact Excel method as the one we used in 223A. So it's the same exact problem, really, just kind of tiny little differences here. So we still want a T column, and instead of a Y column, we actually want an X column here. So X is just our new Y. We are still starting at a T value of 0, and our X value will be 1429. So then the delta T is the step size each time. So our step size is just 0.5, and we're going up all the way until T equals 4. So we'll use our little trick. We'll hit equals. We'll type in the A2 or click on A2 and do plus 0 0.5 representing that we are just going to add 0.5 to each previous t value to get to the next one. So here is where the entire problem really comes in. We are going to plug in our Euler's formula into this cell here. So let's just expand this. We can see what we're typing in here. We'll hit equals. We always want the previous x value plus x prime in this case. So that is everything over here. So 0 0.001077 times x, which is times b2. Every time we see x, we want to actually click or type in b2 times, in parentheses, 1 minus x or b2, and then minus 0.002154. And we close that off because the end of this parentheses is the end of x prime but we so so far we have x plus x prime and then we need times the step size which is always 0.5 so whatever that correction is let's go and go ahead and accept it so this represents the approximation at 0.5 so the way we've typed it in correctly we should be able to click and drag down and highlight or you know fill in all these other x value approximations using Euler's method so the x value at t equals 4 is 137, rounded to the nearest integer is 137. That's it. All right, let's go ahead and do one more example. I'll just keep most of this stuff up here. Let's just, I'll just open up a new file, actually. Honestly, it will be easier. All right, I apologize for all the clicking and typing. I'm sure it's a little loud, but anyway, t equals 0. We have a step size or delta t of 0.4, and we're going all the way up to 6. So equals previous t value plus 0 0.4. And we're clicking and dragging this down until we see a 6. Went a little too far. All right. The initial y value is 14.29. And now we will type in the Euler's formula, Euler's method, into this one cell. So previous y value b2 plus y prime which is 0 0.000769 times y so times b2 times 1 minus y 1 minus b2 and then minus 0 0.000846 and we close that off because that's the end of y prime don't forget to multiply by the step size which in this case is 0 0.4 we accept the correction, we hit enter. This is the y value at 0.4, but we want the y value at t equals 6. So it looks like 164, 165 if we round, and that is our rounded answer to the nearest integer. Hope this makes sense. If you have any troubles with Excel, please let me know, and I can try to troubleshoot them. Uh, but I hope this is all you need. Okie dokie.